$201. Well, on a warm day like today, kind of hard to remember the harsh winter we had, unless, of course, you're still underwater trying to pay your energy bill. 11 News IT reporter Lisa Robinson is at Morgan State University tonight with what's being done to help people sort of get over the hump financially. Lisa. Well, Stan, you know, a lot of people are still feeling the effects of that harsh winter. And some of the people who showed up here today, seniors and people without jobs. At 7 o'clock this morning, and it was like at least 100 people in line already. Bernie Sackey was one of 1,000 people who showed up at Morgan State University to get help paying their energy bills. The Mayor's Office of Human Services Community Action Partnership is working with BGE and the Office of Home Energy Programs to assist low-income city residents. Having them all in one place helps expedite the process. If someone has a service off situation, we have BG &E here on hand to be able to help them get their service turned back on. If they have arrearages, meaning that they're behind in their bill, we'll be able to help them with that. And we'll also be able to get people a 55 day extension for those people who may have a situation where they can't pay their entire bill right now. A harsh winter combined with job losses and fixed incomes is fueling the need for assistance. I'm not in the dark right now, but hopefully it would get there soon if I don't get something assistance. I lost my job and, you know, bills fell behind, so it caused me to um, fall behind in my bills. I need help with my BG&E because I'm disabled and I'm having a hard time paying my BG&E bill since they have the um, smart meters in the houses now. Yeah, so what, how far behind are you? I'm about like two months behind. We all know it's the reality, sad or, or otherwise, we know the reality that there are a lot of families that are still in need. There are a lot of families who have been left behind by the recovery, and I want to reach out to those families and let them know that there are services and there's assistance to help them get through. Now, volunteers can only process 600 people a day. So if you did come today and you did not get in to be seen, you should come back tomorrow and Thursday and uh, see someone then. The doors open at 9 o'clock. This ends at 3 o'clock. Reporting live from Morgan State University, Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News. All right, Lisa, thank you. Now, for anyone who plans on applying for assistance tomorrow or Thursday, here's what you need to bring. Make sure you have a government-issued photo ID, proof of residence, social security cards for everyone in your household, proof of income, the name of your home energy supplier, the account number, and your most recent bill.